So what's happened here is something we are getting to used to seeing more and more on the Jurassic Coast, isn't it? It's a massive rock slide. It's actually the largest to have taken place at the back of Lulworth Cove for some years now. Now, the easy explanation is the usual thing. Lots of wet weather, storms undercutting the cliff, and then gravity eventually takes over and pulls a bit of the rock face down. But also, like everywhere else, there are particular characteristics of the rocks here that cause them to fail. One of the key reasons for this fall, and for any major fall at the back of Lulworth Cove in the chalk cliffs, is down to the way the rock layers here are tilted. At the base of the cliff, they are tilting gently into the cliff face. But higher up the slope, the cliff is made of layers that have been tilted vertically. It means that the weaker surfaces between the layers has become a crucial point of vulnerability. You can see when the larger upper part of the fall happens, it is like slabs of rock sliding off and quickly disintegrating. If you look carefully, you can see the freshly exposed layers stacked upright in the fresh cliff fall. The forces that tilted these layers like this are the same as those that crumpled up the rock layers that you can see in Stair Hole, just next door to Lulworth Cove. This was the Alps forming just over 30 million years ago and the enormous earth forces rippling northward to affect the rocks in southern England. This kind of thing has happened before in this very location and probably for the same reasons. Newspapers recorded a fall here in 1957 in which several people were injured, but thankfully no one was killed. At some point in the future, perhaps when this latest fall is a distant memory, it will happen again. But what are the consequences? Well, the most obvious one is the amazing coastline. This is how Lulworth Cove formed in the first place, after all. Then the fresh rock face will be slowly colonised by pioneering species of plants and insects, which is one of the reasons why coasts and cliffs are such rich habitats. And eventually the rockfall debris will, quite quickly I expect, be swept away by the sea. For now then, it's access and safety that are key concerns. The rockfall is still blocking the beach and could be further collapses before things settle down. So if you are visiting the cove, you must adhere to safety notices placed along the beach. Yeah. And if you are looking to access the eastern side of the cove and into the army ranges, perhaps to visit the fossil forest, you must take the footpath through West Lulworth Village and over the top of Binden Hill, for the time being at least. <laughs>